Oh. Yep, fatigue's kicked in. I'm knackered, <laughs> absolutely knackered. I'm gonna have 10 minutes. contraption of a setup very soon so stay tuned to see why I have tape on my camera good morning guys and welcome back to this week's vlog uh, I'd love to start off this vlog with some sad very very sad news uh, last week at the Ripple Head Viaduct vlog I I lost my lens. I lost my very very first lens, my 18 to 55 kit lens. So can we all take a moment please just to pay our respects to the 18 to 55 Canon lens. Right. Enough of that. This week we are in hang on. This week we are in Keswick at Derwent Water. Um, I want to try some long exposures. It's pretty calm, and as you've seen in my previous segment, where I had the cellar tape on the lens, not only did I lose my 18 to 55, I also lost my filter holder bracket, or whatever you call it. So. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was an expensive day, that one. Um, it was an expensive vlog, but a fantastic vlog nevertheless. So what I'm doing right now, um, I'm just having a little, a little warm up if you like. Just trying to find the right settings for the exposure to get the water all, all calm and crisp. Um, just took one or two of these, these logs sticking out the water. Having to use one lens to film and to take photos is, is proven tricky, I won't lie, but these things are sent to test us, there's nothing I can do. But right now I've just come down to, I think a lot of people call it the infinity fence, to try and get a long exposure of that. But as I'm doing this, the rain has just came. It's, it's not bad at the moment, but I don't really want to uh, risk damaging more of my gear so uh, I think I'll take cover under this tree and hopefully fingers crossed it passes but looking at the weather or even looking at the sky I really can't see it but we'll see what happens right then I've made a decision I'm going to head into Keswick, get a bite to eat, get some breakfast and hopefully that'll pass maybe half hour to an hour, by which time I hope the rain will have passed because I really really want to head down to the centenary stone I think they call it and I still need to get that infinity fence so uh, head into Keswick, get a bite to eat and we'll take it from there. Right then, 
breakfast consumed a wallet that's a whole lot lighter 15 pound lighter might have stad and what an absolute difference in weather the sun the sun's out what an absolute difference so I'm back down at the infinity fence I think we called it last time so I'm gonna try again to get this this composition I really cannot believe the difference in the weather it's absolutely unbelievable but like I say we're back down to it so let's go This, uh, this centenary stone is a lot further than I thought, I'm not going to lie. What I failed to mention earlier was I've literally just came off a 12 hour night shift, finished at 6 in the morning and got the 6.30 bus through to Keswick that got me here at 8 o'clock. So, well, just sort out this exposure. So uh, yeah, fatigue is starting to set in now, but we drive on, we kick on and we carry on. Whew. And we're here. The whole reason for today's trip was this stone. I'm just a little disappointed that the, the water is so low, but I'm here now, so let's try and get a composition. Well, sometimes you've just got to accept defeat. And the centenary stone beat me. I tried everything, I tried all kinds of compositions, but I just couldn't get one that I really, really liked. But like I say, sometimes you've just got to accept defeat. If the water had been further inshore, I would have been a lot happier about it, so. But, you know, I'll have to come back because I will get a shot of that centenary stone with the water closer to the shore one day centenary stone i will be back so on the way around to the centenary stones i've came across this lone tree right in front of me um, if you check out my instagram i'll put the link in down below you'll see that i am quite partial to to lone trees so let's set up the composition and let's see what we can get 